What's cranking anglers? Today I'm going to be showing you how to spool a bait caster rod. Spooling a bait caster is not as hard as it seems. We're going to need a few tools. Today, I'm using a short rod just for demonstration purposes. We need our line, something to cut our line, and something to hold our line. Now there's many different devices out there that you can purchase online that will hold your spool. I'm just going with a pen. You want to make sure that you have a partner or somewhere that can hold on to this that will let this freely spin around. All right, before we get started, just want to thank you all for being here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of great tutorial videos. We also have a lot of other content where we're out hunting, fishing, and trapping. Now let's spool this thing. We want to make sure that our line is securely fastened. We're going to take our line and run it through the eyelet of our bait caster. Just like that. We're going to want to, want to run it down, the, down underneath the spool, just like this. Now some bait casters, the spool comes out, which makes this so much easier. But if yours doesn't do that, that's all right. Just gonna bring it up around the spool, just like that. And now we're gonna carefully run it back through that eyelet, just like that. Now we're gonna take it and tie our favorite knot. We wanna make sure that we're using a cinch knot so that way it tightens down nice and tight. Now you don't have to do this. If you want, you can run it right through your spool and just leave it on there nice and loose. Pull that nice and tight. Just like that. Find our excess string. Take our cutting device. Cut that real short so that way that's not spinning around on there as well. Make sure you don't clip your other line. And we're just going to slowly reel in our rod. Like we're reeling in a fish, but we want to keep a little bit of tension on that line right there at the end. We're just going to spool this up. So we have as much line as we want on there. Now you don't want to add too much tension or it's not going to properly wrap around your spool. All right, well I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If so, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.